Decepticon of them all! Behold, your mightiest enemy is about to take form! Well done, Optimus! Thanks to you, I can now begin scanning that tanker! Now witness the genesis of your destruction! Hey oh and welcome to Ninja Bell Reviews and today I am excited to take a look at the Transformers Legacy Velocitron Speedy of 500 Collection Scourge or should I say Nemesis Prime because really that's what this guy is about he's more in this mode He's Scourge. However, in robot mode, he looks more like a Nemesis Prime, which he was actually designed to be. Uh, um, according to the uh, uh, the artist and the designer, um, he wasn't given specific instruction. So, you know, he started off with, with a Nemesis Prime and later made some changes, and here we are. And I like this. I like this. This is the exact same mold as the Legacy G2 Laser Prime. So we, you know, we don't have to go through the transformation steps, but we will take a look at everything that we it does come with. It does come with a set of instructions, which I have yet to actually open because, again, if you have the Legacy uh, G2 Laser Prime, exact same toy, exact same toy. So here it is. And these are the instructions, big, thick instructions. Um, so, you know, you've got going on here. He said it's big, thick instructions. This is the other, one of the other sides. So you can see what it's all about. Open this up. And, yeah, the, the, these are the instructions. So, you know, it's uh, big. Big instruction sheet. So there you go. We'll get rid of that. Oh, and I bumped my camera. I apologize for that. It's a, it's a, it was a big sheet. Okay, there, there we go. Let's reset this. I might as well uh, raise up that camera to look at that box. While we're at it, get him off to the side for a bit. There we go. And this is the box. It comes in a sealed box. No, no cover or anything. Says Transformers Legacy has that symbol up there, the speed speed planet symbol going on. It's got Scourge, Lostron, Speedy of 500 collection. So it's Car Tomy Generations logo. Nice image of Scourge going on there. Fantastic artwork. I love it. I love it. I love what it's doing there. So pretty cool. There's the side of the box. Cybertronian glyphs going on there. Says authentic. This side of the box got a nice image going on there. Pretty cool. Says Transformers Legacy. On the bottom, you got legal stuffs. We've got this upside down, obviously. Transformers, there's speedy in there. There you go. There's, there's the back says Robots in the Skies 2000 Universe Scourge. There is the complete thing going on there. What you can do with the base mode, robot mode, alt mode takes 30 steps. Legal stuff, barcode, boom, there you go. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. And we will lower the camera. And we will take a look at this awesome toy. So, here we are. And, you know, again, this is just the G2 Laser Prime mo uh, mold. You've seen it before. Only now it's done in this new deco. And, again, this is... In this mode, anyway, he really does is more representative of Scourge, okay, um, than Nemesis Prime. However, as you'll see in robot mode, he's more representative of uh, a Nemesis Prime than a Scourge. So here he is, and um, go ahead and take that trailer off and set that down. You'll know what that is for by now. And this is it, and he looks good. I, I don't like this clear red plastic going on here, though. I think that's a, a, a bit much. I don't care for that right there, but that's okay. Could use some teal striping there and there. It's missing the teal striping. Missing the uh, G2 Decepticon logo, logo that goes there on the door. 
Now the tank should be black, but because of the way this transforms, I understand why they didn't do that. But uh, if it was going to be a scourge, these tanks should have been black. Of course, on the original, the tanks were more forward. So um, yeah, love this added detail, that teal going on there. Or turquoise, I think it's teal. Could have used some painted decals back here. I'm sure Toy, Toy Hacks will do something about that. This would have been nice in, in black to match, but or have it in gray. It doesn't matter either way. Spin and tires, silver inset. Pretty cool. Again, needs a Decepticon logo going on right there. Very cool. Very cool. Some duster, some schmutz on here. Let me just get rid, get rid of that. There we go. <laughs> it's being stubborn. There we go. He looks good. He looks good. I would have liked it, this in chrome, and I may get, you know, I have to buy another Malatow uh, uh, um, chrome pen, but I may just do that in chrome, and I'm sure Toy Hacks will give us, you know, stickers for this or something, but, so that's another option. Again, there should be pin, uh, teal pinstriping on this air tank. So, yeah, looks good. I love the teal here, but it's missing the pinstripe that goes around the cab. And I can confidently say what it's missing because here is R.I.D. Scourge as a comparison. And again, you can see there should be teal on these steps, teal on, on those air tanks right there. Again, the tank here is black, but because of the way this transforms, they couldn't do that. So, you know, I, I get that. It's got that pinstriping there. Whoops. And I just knocked off the pin and... Ugh. That's okay. Let me set that over there. And as you can see, look, it's got teal there. Instead, they went because of the way this is, they decided to go with this, which I'm happy about. I, I can live with that. Could use the pinstriping on the end tank and the pinstriping there on the stair staircase. Or the step up. So as you can see, it's got teal there. The teal on that hood. They decided to go with this other pattern, which is okay. Um, they got teal for those lights there. This one does not have it, though it does have pinstriping around the top, which this I feel really, really needs. They both got the this one has the chrome wheels and the chrome grill. Ooh, shiny chrome. We gotta love chrome. This one just has a silver going on there, although this one has a gray smokestacks. They decided to go silver with this. I like that. That is cool. We got the teal. Pinstriping going around the window well there. I like that. Around the front windows too. This one did not have that. So again, I like that improvement here. So really, you know, there there's some things I like that this is doing and some things this is just better at, you know. Of course, it's a different truck, you know. It's a different style truck. So obviously, you know, there's different stylizations and, and whatnot. But yeah, I, I, I dig it. Anyway, we'll get rid of him. We'll put him up for now, and yeah, he's really, really cool. And we'll t take a quick look at the trailer. Here is the trailer, and again, it is the same as the Laser Prime trailer, just now done and you know, ha has the silver going on here. Not much else to talk about, not much paint to talk about right here. Could he, could use more stuff back here. I'm sure Toy X, once again, will take care of that. There are several upgrade, upgrade kits that are... Uh, they're either available right now or going to be. Uh, the DNA Design Upgrade Kit. Um, there is another one. Um, I forget. Uh, and there's also a Larkin's Lair. Uh, um, so uh, check those out. Get those upgrade sets, you know. And uh, um, yeah. So check those out. But again, this is just the same thing. Open that up. Open that up for the base mode. This is right now is where I'm storing the sword and his axe. We'll take a look at those. I'll get those out of there. But yeah, this is this is the base mode. If you're into that sort of thing, so yeah, just a ba just a basic. This should be spun around here. There we go. Oh, and I just pulled it right off the. <laughs> pulled it right off. There, there, there you go. That's the base mode for this. So, you know, we're, we're familiar with it. Again, this is just the G2 uh, uh, Laser Prime done in a different color. It's got a lot of nice molded details in there. 
So other than that, yeah, it's, it's the exact same toy. And of course, that cannon right there is removable and you can use it for robot mode if that cannon right there, sorry, you couldn't see that, is removable in case you want to use it for, you know, his robot mode. So that is removable. Tower is removable too in case, you know, you want to, you know, stick it on, stick it on here and for whatever reason you may want, you know, you, you can ha have him have this tower on, on his backside. Why not? So... I mean, hey, why not? <laughs> why not? Things you can do, right? So anyway, there you go. Go ahead and fold this up. Boom. Get this all folded up and taken care of. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. This side does not want to tab in. There we go. So, yeah, that's the trailer. Get rid of this stuff real quick and bring in the original. Uh, for a comparison, there you go. There is the original. Look at all that shiny chrome. This does not ju do that justice. <laughs> it just doesn't. I mean, it's... Plus, you know, again, the scale of it is uh, bigger, too. So, that's, it's just a bigger trailer, um, as you can see. So, just a huge trailer. Right size, right length, just, it's, 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 it's awesome. And, and, you know, if you really felt like it, if you really felt like it, really, really felt like it, you can kind of make this work. See, it doesn't quite catch on. So, you know, it doesn't quite grip on there. So, hey, there's that if you, if you want. So, you know, hey, that's that's a look if, if you want. It's, it doesn't quite work out. But anyway, there's that. Get rid of that. And we will be right... Oh, let's put, take a quick look. Like I said, there's this cannon it comes with that is removable. You can use for robot mode. Again, it's just a G2 Laser Prime one. So, there you go. There's that. Comes with the same sword that G2 Laser Prime had, only now done in this pinkish red. So, but a nice if they had picked out some details, but the original had the same thing. Let's go ahead and pull off the original. Boom, there we go. And it's stored, you know, on the bottom just like his does. So that's that's a cool nod. But anyway, there you go. So the original didn't have much in the way of paint on it either. I actually pre would have preferred this color over this color. So this is red and this is a pinkish red and I would have preferred this color. But there you go. There's that. So... And then he comes with his axe. I would have much preferred a, bla a blaster, but they gave him an axe for some strange reason. Uh, um, you know, different different uh, uh, character. So maybe he had a different, you know, weapon. Would have been nice other than just the, you know, G2 Laser Prime axe rehashed. So there you go. Um, it would have been nice to have a different weapon, you know, because the original Scourge had this rifle. Which you could use in both modes, you know. The, whoops, I had it upside down. This is for robot mode. Then you, you know, put this down for the base mode. So, yeah. It would have been nice to have a rifle or something to go with, with this version. But that's okay. Anyway, we'll be right back with the robot mode. And, and again, this is the same exact transformation. Nothing new to see here. Uh, um, so, yeah. Nothing new to see here. Be right back. All right, and here we are. We are back with his robot mode, and uh, yeah, I, I dig it. Let's, I don't know why my camera was zoomed in, but there we go. There he is in his robot mode, and he looks, whoops, and I bumped my camera again. Wow, just one of those days, folks. Uh, just one of those days. Hold on. Okay, I'm back, and here he is in his robot mode, and yeah, I mean, I, I dig it. I dig it. It's clearly got a more Nemesis Prime vibe. You know, with all this clear red plastic, which I don't care for. Um, but, he does look pretty good. And we'll take a quick look around him. He does have some nice silver crest going on there. Got some teal going on in there. Nice pipe, uh, red uh, light piping going on there. So, that's pretty cool. Got some teal there on his shoulder cannons. And, if you open these up, just like the G2 Laser Prime, you have... Some those missiles in there. I'm sure Toy Hacks will do something for that as well. Hopefully they'll do something to cover up this bit of red. 
because that is distracting in vehicle mode. Got those upside down G2 Autobot logos, which again is wrong for Scourge. They should be the Generation 2 Decepticon logos. You'll see in a moment here with the original. Got some nice teal going on there. Love the teal around those. And of course, if you want, you can open this up to reveal that little matrix in there. Only this time done in a red clear plastic. So I'm not going to bother taking that out. Got some gray in there. Nice molded details all throughout. So you got that option going in there. And a, lot of, a lot of people are having problems with this section popping on and off. Mine does not. So awesome. Teal right there. And for quick articulation, these shoulders will kind of get up out of, out of the way if you want. But the arm only goes up that far anyway. So do you have a bicep swivel? No, no 90 degrees there do have a wrist swivel so that's pretty good does have a waist swivel so that's pretty good got some gray here this is just done in dark gray black got some teal down there striping otherwise it's just black going on love that teal there the silver kick out that far kick back that far Go out to the side that far. Got a nice knee going on there. Slightly above 90 degrees. Get that tank filled in there for the feet. No up or down on it. You do got a down on that toe though. No up. Down on that heel. No up again. And you got a nice deep rocker. Well, not that deep. But, you know, good enough to serve. Oh, for these arms. They'll go back that far. You fold that up out of the way, they'll go this far. I really hate this design. This is my biggest complaint about this mold, is the way they designed this. The shoulders should have been free to move with here. I mean, they could have designed it so, you know, this could have been, uh, it's just, it's a poor design choice, but, you know, is what it is. So, um, for a quick comparison, well, there's only really one comparison you can do. I suppose I could bring out the G2 Laser Prime mold, but no, no, that's not the route we're going with this. That's, that's not the route. We're going to set him back there, and we're going to bring out this one right here, and we'll do the quick transformation. So, pull that down, fold down the feet, separate it, boom, like this. Fold out those arms, just like so. Split the the front of the cab just like so roll them up roll them up open up this panel here which reveals his head swing that head out turn it around this slides back on that slider into position close that up swing those arms down and there you have his scourge in his robot mode and there they are for comparison and uh, obviously, as I said, this is more Nemesis Prime. The colors is what give it away. You've got the, you know, you've got the uh, uh, blacks going on here, and it should be more grays. Got the nice teals going on up there. Other than the teal just on the cannons, you got teal going on around it, as you can see in there. See that? Very nice colors going on there. Here in the shoulder, once again, as you can see, he has Generation 2 Decepticon logos going on. So, uh, on both shoulders, he does not have the upside down G2 logo. Um, so I, again, just one more thing that leads me to believe that this was intentionally made to be a nemesis, not a scourge. But as you can see, those head sculpts are, are very similar. I mean, look at that. So that's pretty good. I like that. And he's got the, you know, that ni nice light piping as well. So they match that. That's pretty good. Um, some little other details you go going on there. He's got turquoise stripes on either side. He doesn't have that here. Uh, turquoise going up on that U shape. Um, he has it, as you can see, but it's not picked out. But he does have it. Just like that striping going on here. He has it, but it's not picked out. So that would that would have been nice. And again, I understand why they didn't make the tanks here. Like here, they're black on I and they're part of his arms. Well, they're part of his legs on this. So I understand why they didn't use uh, black for the tanks on this version. Um, I think it would have been really distracting in robot mode to have a, a you know just a black tank, you know, sticking out, you know, uh, um, 
on the back of that thigh. I think that would have been really distracting, so I understand why they didn't. Um, still would have been nice. Um, the knees here aren't the same. They're just not the same. As you see, the molded detail isn't there. Uh, um, so, But there is an upgrade out there which gives you this, this U shape right here for the kneecaps that can be installed onto this one in place of these. It's now these, and they'll fold in and out just like the regular transformation. There is an upgrade set out there available for that to give you the, those kneecaps, which is good. Otherwise, as you can see, it's just the normal, you know, black leg going on down there. You know, it, it's really, 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 really cool. Now, they did use, you know, the red plastic up in here for those lights. On here, they did the same. Boom. But again, that red plastic here is distracting. It's, it's just distracting. And I love the fact that they put silver around the front of those uh, um, lights. Didn't have it on the original would have been nice, but on the original, they had striping, go, uh, pinstriping, turquoise pinstriping going down. They did not do that on this version, which is kind of a shame. Um, so maybe Toy Hacks will take care of that. I don't know what kind of detail Toy Hacks will give us for this set. But let's hope they try to match this as best as possible. You got the gray here, black here, gray here, black here. So that's all good. You need to have the silver for the fists right here. That is missing right here, as you can see. Um, so... Or the gray, whatever. Yeah, it's more of a silver color. Yeah. You got some nice turquoise and that on the leg here. Missing that on here. Although the detail is kind of there. It's kind of present on this. Uh, um, so I, I guess you could make this part tur turquoise here. So maybe put some turquoise there for that striping. I, I, I don't know what they can do to match that deep molded detail. But otherwise, really, really cool. I greatly enjoy this bot. Um, I do like it. Is it a 100% Scourge? No. Uh, the windows here should not be red. They should be matched to shoulders. You see how this detail comes across like there, like there. Hopefully Toy Hacks will do something to fix that. I'm sure they will. But yeah, they should have this sort of this gray-black color going on for, for there. Got a bit of turquoise going on here. They missed that going on there. They got the turquoise going on here. Uh, um, same sort of... On here, although again, it's two different, really two different molds. All right, it's not the same vehicle, not the same, you know, things. So, all in all, I like him. So, is he worth picking up? That's the question. Is he worth picking up? And I say yes, yes, he is. Um, is he worth picking it up at the sixty dollar price point? Is what I paid for this guy. Uh, um, no. I don't think so. I think this is probably good. If you can get it, uh, um, well, if you can get it for around $40, $45, I'd say $45, I think, is the highest you want to go on this. Obviously, that's not going to happen unless you get a really good deal on, a, you know, in clearance or something or some store somewhere. Um, not all regions are the same, but I think uh, um, he is worth picking up and adding to your collection. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This has been my look at the Transformers Legacy Velocitron Speedia 500 collection uh, universe. What is it? Uh, um, C Cybertron universe scourge. And I like him. Oh, uh, make sure you check out my playlist. Make sure you click the like button. Com please leave a comment. Everything helps my channel grow. If you feel like donating the channel and you can support the channel, please go ahead and visit that uh, my Patreon and become a uh, Patreon member by clicking the link in the description below. And above everything else, be good to each other.